Hello and welcome back to the channel. Take two. Take one. My device didn't record properly, so I lost all the introduction, plus I lost the first part outside of the washing clay block and so on that we do. But today we're going over a 1990s something Toyota Celica GT4. This guy back here. Fully done. So the paint completely hammered, it looks beige, it looks black, very thin paint. So we're going to do a complete enhancement, uh, polish the glass, polish the surfaces, the wheel faces, the rubber trim is a mess. We're going to try to enhance all of that. So it's a resurrection. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to take you from the beginning from the garage on. So. Let's get this thing going and see if we can go from borderline black beige to some type of white, which we have now because this is the end and I'm doing the beginning at the end, part of the business. So we go. Okay, so unfortunately we lost a lot of the footage that we did with this car outside, but here's the Toyota Celica GT4 right hand drive and uh, right now we're back in the garage i already did the oxidation block it took about four hours it, it, the whole thing was like beige in color right now you can clearly see that there's no shine at all very very dull this panel this panel these panels they look different so we've been doing a little test pod and so far so good so here you can clearly see if you follow the the light the line of the light that side is the side that has been done and here comes the transition and you can see how dull it is so there was a lot of question with the customer about the type of paint now we can confirm there is a single stage and one of the ways you can tell is when you see the paint residue in the pad so the paint is just coming off the surface because it's what we call the dead paint. Also, we measured the surface already. And here you can see 2.9. So we have to be very, very careful. 3.3. 3.3. So we have to be very careful. It's going to be an enhancement. We cannot go too deep because we will go to the... To the primer we also remove already some of the sun uh, shades they had in here have to get the glue out we have to do something with all the black trim as usual we're gonna end up putting the boosted gonna polish the glass gt4 celica so this is just a quick update we did the muffler part of the muffler already looks good let me concentrate on the roof today and the glass and this whole square piece here and then move to the rest of the car so that's where we are with this Celica and then we have the new lights on the shop so helping us a lot got the AC going okay so we go okay so we have the roof half of the roof look at that look at, looking beautiful let's see if we can capture this transition here from this area being done and we will see it slowly getting there how it start getting so dull you can't even barely see the light anymore look at that right there so that's not done slowly transition there a little haze to fully done so on this type of jobs you better um, put some tape on the moldings you're gonna scuff them you're gonna damage them I can assure you that so I have put my tape I'm working in a section of the roof half and this is so far for the half what I have done I have uh, two four uh, two three four five six seven pads already cake so I start with uh, the microfiber ones and then with the foam pad but as you can see, so we're gonna if we if we do the mat, this is half of the hood of the roof. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. So that will be 14 pads, 
and that's just on the roof so we're gonna go through pads like crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and wash this one let them dry outside so I can keep moving but quite interesting but it's looking real good I measured the paint again it came down a little bit so I'm gonna leave this as it is I'm not going any further I don't want to damage what we have there so just enhancing what we have okay we continue we got the 50-50 here this left side some areas on the readings running very very low so that's I stop right there whatever is there will stay there this side I haven't done huge improvement clearly but I'm limited of what I have to work with so so but at least it's looking white very nice okay making some progress the quarter panel the poles on this side of the roof beautiful Side. so let's see if we can blend this door this here quite a bit of stains and whatnot moving along the cemetery of pads I have about eight of them outside let's see if I can blend this door now so we can get some reference point here Okay, making big progress, water, the door, and now we're going to go to this guy here, which is fully door, dull. We use these lines for that line, and also these lines here, we want some watermarks and whatnot, right there, fully dull, right there, so let's see what we can do. Okay, and we continue. And what do we have here? A major development. So, as I'm working on this thing, looking better, it just continuously uh, clogging my pads. I have cleaned them half a dozen times because the paint is so thin. You know, I've been extra careful. So, I decided to try one of these pads. These pads we brought to US a while back we don't move many of them these pads are intended to remove orange peel so I decided to give it a try and the results are just incredible just is cutting like butter is speeding up the job tremendously is getting all the imperfections and the dead paint out okay the cost is that they are just getting ruined but at this point I don't care so it's like a borderline sanding job so and I have some more of them and I did the roof look at this and I did the door and, and, and the quarter and the quarter it took me minutes to get it done I still have to go behind it to do a major or a final polish but all the heavy stuff is done so I'm gonna try this right here on the wind as you can see the wind is all hazy I'm gonna put the 50 50 with this guy and let's see but this is phenomenal this is I'm so happy about this so just wanted to throw that out there that if you're dealing with single stage pain maybe you want to have some of these pads on hand just in case so okay we continue Okay, I suspected. Look at this. Wow. Beautiful. Just with that pad. Huge improvement. Let me see if I can get this light right here. So we're going to follow right there. We're going to follow the light. And we can clearly see here how it's getting dull. More dull. And more dull beautiful 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 now uh, we can gonna push on this hard now you see a little bit of the roof of the trunk here lucky for me the spoiler is quite big so I can get in there no problem so let's take a look there we go 
okay so I got the yellow shampoo there ready and usually I don't wash the cars after but I had to do all of these transition pieces on my finger all of these transition fingers where's my finger right here all of these transition pieces I had to do by hand so I have residue there and this I'm gonna put the ink and with the wheel cleaner that looks and others will try to sell you so many products and I'm just trying to save you money so I'm gonna go to all the transition pieces here to make sure I don't have any little residue left because I did by hand and then I'm gonna just a quick wash and then um, dry it up go with the prep oil and the coating so that's where we at and you will see the transformation on these trim pieces it's gonna look phenomenal okay so the trim I'm gonna give you a better look but the trim with a small brush and I had this ink that I use I'm gonna paint all of that stuff that's already done and then I come behind with the boosted and it will look beautiful okay so we're ready to go I'm gonna redo a few panels on the other side I have to put the boosted then I'm gonna spray this trim over here that I show you I'm gonna spray the the front grill and I'm gonna spray the wheels and then I'm home free just a few touch-ups so we're on the final 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 stretch what a journey so nevertheless we go I gotta put this in so safety first nicer after being spray so on the last stretch so I was able to blend the fender the door and the quarter as best I could the front bumper is a little off that's done due to the paint but for the most part this is all done a lot of imperfections but we tried to do the best we could with what we have with the paint that we have so just a resurrection it's looking good um, just a few touch-ups and this is a wrap okay and here she is the Celica right hand drive all done came almost black now it's white so the typical procedure so remover Pro X and the boosted 2.0 wheels and tires with the T2 and the wheel cleaner deluxe a lot of work, a lot of steps, polish the glass, the wheels, all the surfaces as I showed you earlier the measurements were very thin so I don't have a lot of, a lot of uh, paint to work with so it was uh, what we call an enhancement I ended using like a pad to remove orange peel but it looks beautiful all the way around it So. I miss a little spot there. Glass was polished. This side uh, here, it looks good, real, real good. I think that outside now it's fully done. Maybe I have to do a touch up here and there, but for the most part, she's ready to go back home. Okay, and that's a wrap with the Celica. Check us online, turbowax.com. Thank you for subscribing to our channel and uh, there she is and we're moving on to the next one until next time.